Hello everybody, welcome back to more Xenoblade 3. Time for us to visit Milos or Melios Cave. I can't remember the exact spelling. Just to show you guys where we are picking up from then, we are just north of the Lin Nithwia camp. And uh, maybe, I guess, south of the Zem's Crossway, whichever way you want to get to where we are now. We're going to head into the, z into the desert zone. There's a fair amount of loot we can get in here, but we are going to target on the Melios Cave. This is where we can spend the Nopon coins, or Nopon coins, at like a merchant, but we've got to unlock it first. Obviously, we're going to do it from here because we haven't been over this way yet in the series, so I want to show everybody the, the way there step by step. Got a few things to just pass on by. There's a husk over over on the side if you guys want to go and pick that up. But for now, I'm going to keep this fairly fairly straightforward. I'm just going to follow this cliff along to the side here. When we get around the corner, we'll see one of those like spider-shaped transport things. We'll be avoiding that. There's a camp up here to grab as well, which will make coming back here later on much easier. Now, I do appear to be missing some side quests at this point. After we've done this cave, we'll be progressing the story, which is going to be quite cool. And we're going to unlock the Ouroboros order, which is cool as well. So that means we're going to get up to five rounds. Which is real nice when we do chain attacks. Real good for um, really wild winding up all that XP. When you're wanting to rank up your when you're wanting to rank up your classes, let's go ahead and grab Namba Mount Camp. Namba Mount Camp. Uh, I'm gonna try cooking here because I feel like if you cook, you can pick up recipes. So we're gonna give this a go. Bear with me. Not spending coins though. Let's keep things on I guess it must just be in colonies. I, I happened to uh, to cook in one of the colonies, and then um, Manana seemed to pick up a. A new recipe, so something I need to look out for and see if we can see if we can nail down exactly what happens there. So past the camp, then we continue north, and uh, we can pretty much see where the cave is. See the cliff just ahead of us. That's where we're going. We should get a point of interest as we get over there, and then we know we're on the right track. Here we go. Zell quicksands. Is that a <laughs> is, that, is that a Zell reference from Final Fantasy VIII? As in Zell quickhands. I can't guarantee that it is, but it feels like it. I've only just noticed that that's what it's called. Zell's quicks hands. So here's our cave. We're going to be heading on in. Unlock our Nopon merchant. This is how we spend our Nopon coins in Xenoblade 3. Hope you guys are enjoying the Xenoblade 3 walkthrough, by the way. Anybody that's made it this far, thank you so very much. And if you are, I suppose I probably should have, should have said it earlier. As soon as people see the cave, they'll probably leave. I should have said, please leave me a like if you're going to jump off the video. <laughs> okay, so that's just explaining how this mechanic works. It's not too difficult. Uh, basically, we have um, the two shoulder buttons controlling each of the, uh, each of the points there. I suppose I probably could have showed what happens if you put it in the middle one and how you how you get that to move around, but it's pretty it's mostly self-explanatory, I think. We're gonna head on straight through here. There are a few blue enemies in here in here. If you haven't um, done very much leveling, this is going to be a good place to get yourself some XP. I'm gonna go grab that husk over at the end of there as well whilst we're going around. Um, I don't think this this group is on full ether, so I think we're okay. Yeah, my uh, my scout character's on like fully. I'm gonna take care of this guy. That Tototun. Let's carry on through the cave to continue. It's M Melio Trick Caverns, not Melio Cave. Ha ha! So this is going to be the Melio Trick Caverns walkthrough video. Yes, it is. Uh, this is supposed to be a trap again. We probably come here at a at a fairly high level. <laughs> Uh, but the game just kind of directs us in in weird directions, so we'll deal with these. We have to kill these to to progress. So those dealt with. Grab yourself the husk, and then we can be on our way. You 
what? It's night time already. Guess we'll take the detour for more loot. We're gonna to want to see Mr. Nuppon soon though. I'm sure everybody wants to spend those Nuppon coins at the Nuppon merchant. Has some okay stuff. Some of them are quite expensive. I don't think we can afford everything yet. Hello! Crawlers. Is that only one blue? No, two blues. Okay, we should defeat these. Cool, with that dealt with them, we can head on back through the cave. Meliotric cavern, should I say? Let's go see if there's something that makes saving all of those silver Nopon coins worth it, shall we? This silver Nopon coin store. Griffox fossil. Okay, so here's our second door. I suppose this is the demo then, so let me just show you guys how this is going to work here, look. You can see if I press the right one first, it kind of moves it round wrong. Yeah, so you kind of want to do that. I did that wrong there, really. Foolish me. Do -do -do. <laughs> that was just because I was messing around there. But uh, yeah, you see how it works. And I think we have arrived. We should see a door in a second. In the Sage's Garden, no less. Is there a husk here? No, I think it's on top. Yeah, it's over there. It's not, uh, it's not in the garden. No death in the Sage's Garden. With the Nuppon Silver Coin Store. So much to see, huh? Okay, here we have the merchant. Uh, we'll skip through some dialogue here. Let's come to the conclusion that we can use our coins here. So if we go into here, we should now... Yeah. Come here. We have some new names registered. Come on. Buy only what we budgeted for. And here we are. This is what we spend our coins on. The Nopon strapped. No. One second. There is a couple that are good in here. So yeah, as I remember when we were talking about this on stream, this is good for specific areas. Uh, we're not going to be in those specific areas for a while, so we can we can leave we can leave the shell necklace. But the um, art recharge speed is pretty good, and the um, boosting ally revival speed is also pretty good. Both of those are pretty good on your healers, so they can just be in general pretty quite nice to have. Uh, we probably won't really start using them until we reach um, the point where we can have three accessories on at the moment. Change accuracy by ten, by ten. I mean, that's okay, but it's really like mi minor. And you're at the end of a fight usually, then anyway, hundred percent chance of surviving it. No. See, these are way more situational. How much like the silver ones are in general better, realistically speaking. There we are. Speak to you. And we've completed the quest. And got some extra coins. Not bad. So that's the state of affairs. So, we'll grab this chest at the back. That's going to finish this episode. Next up, then, we're going to continue the story moving forward. So, I'll see you guys again soon for that.